You've just come off your ninth consecutive title with Arsenal in the 2012 season. The PFA announced the first women's player, player of the year. And you're announced as, as the winner. 10 years on, how do you reflect on that? Yeah, I do remember it was the first one, um, which is obviously a, a big occasion for women's football. Having that award and then, you know, naturally the, the award it is and being voted for by, you know, your fellow players, I think it has a nice kind of touch to it. So yeah, I'd been voted the player of the year that year. It was, yeah, it was special. Mm -hmm. I remember that, yeah, I remember the evening. It was a really nice, nice night. You are praised for your, your vision, and your, your intelligence and your, and your technical skills um, and therefore become inspiration for your teammates and for, for kids growing up after you. Um, but who was your hero, uh, inspiration growing up as a, as a young Kim? Yeah, I think as a young Kim, Scottish player, um, someone I looked up to was Julie Fleeting, Julie Stewart, she's now called now, but she, um, she was kind of the first Scottish player to come down. She played at Arsenal. Um, and she played out in America as well um, for a period in the, one of the professional leagues there. So she was kind of the first Scottish player who kind of led the way um, to kind of play football as a career. And um, yeah, she was an unbelievable goal scorer, number nine for, for Arsenal um, and for Scotland. So yeah, she was definitely someone I looked up to. Was there a moment coming up the, the, the rank, so to speak, in which you realised that I might go on to achieve something something special in the game. I'm thinking your 2006-2007 season, you're playing for Hibs. Yeah. 55 goals in 30 <laughs> games, if I'm not mistaken. So one of those moments where you think, I could go on to do something special here. To be honest, no. I think at that time, because of where the game sat, it was still amateur. I was still, you know, just arguing for fun. Um, obviously scoring a lot of goals. Um, but I think at that time, there still wasn't that kind of visible... Um, picture of women's football being a professional sport so for me I was just going with it and I think the span of my career has just kind of naturally come with the professionalization of the game so it never at any point felt like that was my goal it's just kind of yeah incrementally gone with the kind of stages of professionalization of the game which is quite nice because you don't think too much in front you're not thinking this is what I'm going to do or not going to do so um, yeah I feel quite privileged to have that experience. You're now in your second spell with with the club what is it that makes you and Arsenal such a such a good match? Um, yeah, when I, obviously when I first came to the club, Arsenal was the most successful team in in Britain, and it was a natural move for me to do from from um, Scotland, like you said, from Hibs to Arsenal. And Julie Fleetham was a part of that. She, oh, I played with her with the national team, and kind of that's how it happened, coming down to Arsenal. And then um, I went out to America to play for a few years to have a new experience and find my way back to Arsenal. Yeah, it just feels like home and it's a special place for me. And yeah, I always feel, you know, so pr proud to represent the badge. Um, has so happened to be a great fit, um, which has meant I've had, yeah, a really long and, you know, a great time here. We want to create the ultimate player. So what I've brought here are the eight winners yeah. from the last 10 season, you being the first one, <laughs> starting it off. Um, and I want to start with best vision. Best in creating vision. the ultimate player, we have four categories and start with the best vision. I'm going to go with G. G? Yeah. Why is that? I've played, played against her um, numerous times in the midfield for Chelsea over the years and um, yeah, she's such an intricate, intricate player um, and sees, sees the game mm. like not many. Um, yeah, and she's really hard to um, defend against because of that vision. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why. We'll take her then, we'll set her up there. Uh, won it in her debut season, um, and then go on to strength. Strength. Yes. Go for Lucy. Lucy. Yeah. Two-time winner. Two-time winner, yeah. Um, right back, I think she's known for her physicality. Um, yeah, her endurance, um, I think that's one of her best traits. So, yeah, I think Just that's a natural selection. Hard as nails yeah, to play against. Hard, yeah. Perfect. Um, I'll take that then, let's see. And then we have pace. Pace. We have pace. Because I know her best, I'm gonna go for Viv. Viv? Um, yeah, when she, gets, when she gets going and when um, she breaks through, you know, back lines um, with her long legs, she's, yeah, one of the fastest, um, which gives her the edge in so many, um, you know, positions in our final third, so. 
going for Viv. Perfect. I try and keep up with her. <laughs> try to keep up yeah, with her. Yeah, try. <laughs> I'll take Viv then. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Um, since we're going to have, I need four players. The one more. best one is, the next one is finishing, the last one. You obviously have the chosen yeah. the WSL top scorer. I think, the, yeah, the easiest yeah. answer is Sam Kerr. Yeah, I think over the, the past few seasons, she's been um, an un unbelievable finisher, which, you know, arguably has put Chelsea at the top of the league for the last season. So, yeah, we're okay. That's a good, that's a good lineup, that. Good lineup, yeah. And then uh, maybe we can chuck in one of your skills into it too, and then we have the ultimate, ultimate five. Uh, okay. <laughs> ultimate five. Kim, thank you so much for, for sitting down with us, doing the ultimate player and talking through your winning season. Thanks a lot. Thank you.